Well, I've downloaded this from the internet, so we're going to see if we can make this uh, cartoon figure. Deadpool, I think, is. Well, something like that. So let's go for. We'll go on the. Make a new layer. Make a round circle for the head. And then we've got the body that is basically something. Yeah. And we have the gun here. And we've got those there, and then that is the shoulder. Okay, this is basically the rough one, what we're doing first. That is something like that, yep. Okay, and then we've got this one coming around like that. Do that down there, and then we've got this legs bit like that. That's coming out, and then coming around there. Something like that. Okay, so I think I made the legs a bit up and down, so what I'll do is uh, just do the wrap thing and just make it move it up a bit and that one a bit down. Instead of me rubbing it all out and doing it. Okay, it looks like this leg it doesn't look right, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so that is there, and then we've got the round circle there belt then we've got the package there bit more than that okay and then we have another package of box or on the belt okay so then we've got this shoulder coming here and we've got the round gloves here then we've got the knife there Okay, and we've got these knuckle things here like that. Obviously it's not going to be exactly the same yet, so we're trying to get somewhere around what we can see, it looks the same. And then we have this coming here like that and then going down. We have that going there. Okay, let's get this bit here right first. It's about here, and we're coming down here. Okay, so from here, we got the eyes bit here. That there and that there and I'm just going to use the rubber just to move this out of the way that bit there okay then to the other eye and we have that there like that Okay, so it's coming around about something what we want. Okay, right, okay, no, I need to make that like that. Okay, I'm just going to put a color the background a bit, uh, like a grayish, about there, yep. And we're going to go on the top layer now. Okay, what we could do now is it's not what well, it's near to what we've got there now. So, okay, that's our version. I think the gun is about there. Okay, so we've nearly got everything around there. Let's 
ones around about there, yep, and coming down like that. Then we've got these, it's basically going that way, and that is in the middle. Let's get these heads out of the way. Okay, hang on, why am I getting those? Okay, I've got those. There we go. So, I think the face is not looking what we want, so what I'm going to do is go there. See if I can make that a bit better. Okay, is that looking a bit off? Okay, my, I think my one's a bit too much on the body side, so what I'm going to do is just highlight that, like that. And then I'm going to go there and try to make this smaller. Oops, let's do it in uniform. About there, yeah. So we're there. And I think this is the layer that we have not have got these extra bits in there. Okay. So need to make the gun again, I think. Yeah. Yeah, delete that one, we don't need that one. Yeah. And we still want to go on that one just to make the gun look a bit better. Actually it's like that, isn't it? Yeah, and then we've got these three there. Okay, so we've got like the rough shape now of the items, what we we're looking for. And that goes there, there. okay. And this is a bit different shape. We can do that there. Uh, okay, and he's got something sticking out of there, hasn't he? I forgot all about that. Okay. Right, we've got all our lines now. What I'm going to do is double tap on this and make it light as I can yet yeah, about there. Then what I'm going to do is get a pencil that is now, I'm going to, I think, uh, stabilization. I'm going to put that bit up so we can get our lines properly in now. And we are on the new layer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go from here straight down here and hold that there till it goes exact I'm gonna do it again just keep it close to it and there we go and we can now make it exact as we want it now because we've got the shapes underneath to give guide us and then we've got this one here okay so now what we want to do is go from here about there and you'll see now all the shapes when you make them they will be exact so we've got one coming down up to here right don't like that shape it didn't come out right nope okay yeah that's a bit better there and then we've got that one coming straight down and there we go okay and now we're going to go for the top bit there and then we've got one going there and then we've got it like that okay let's get that bit a little bit out of the way i think that's a bit too much we have to go from about here something like that Obviously it's different, but uh, we're not trying to get it exact the same, so, okay. So the, let's go for the next eye. So we've got this shape, something like that. And then we're going to go again on the inside, trying to keep it right there, yep. Yeah. I think I'm going to do the eye again. <laughs> Yep, 
and if you don't move your pencil at the end and just keep it there for a minute or a second or so it should make the shape exactly the way you want it like now this one I've just made is not right but if you look now I can move it around with the pencil as well there so oopsie let's do that again so if I want to keep it like that like a rough line all the way around and don't move my pencil now and then let go when I think the shape is right okay so now we've got the eye coming out like that and then going in like that and then we've got the eye about there okay so that's that bit then we've got this line coming around like that okay so that's those bits a little bit done this line i think i'm going to make it a bit thicker there all right so now we've got the shoulders coming out here up there and then we've got these lines coming up like that okay and we've got the shoulder pad bit that is like that and we're going to do something like that and then come down there and we're going to make the middle line come straight all the way down there do the other shoulder and that is something like that okay and then we've got this straight down there then we've got the rings about there and then we've got the hand there that's in there like that and we've got the finger there like that and then we've got the bottom bit of the gun see that doesn't look right okay nope about there and then we've got the gun here coming like that Out there and then we've got that piece just there and then we have this bit here okay so we've got those bits nearly what to what we want then we've got this bit coming here then we've got that there right, I'm just gonna go a bit down then we're gonna go for these lines here okay we've got a something that looks like a little uh, wallet type and the belt so we we'll do that carry on with the belt here and then make the same thing here okay I'm gonna go for this sword thing at the back okay so we go in that way and then we've got this hand here and we've got that little piece there and then we've got these knuckle bits coming out there and okay that's about there show us a knife and then we got the leg is about there okay so we've got this here and then we've got that there and about there okay I think we're nearly nearly there and just make this one here on this side 
Right, okay, so if I just take off the... Hang on, that bottom one doesn't look right. Right, if I take off the bottoms lines there, and we have got something resembling that now. Okay, I'm just going to go for this shape here. I just want to see if I can move that a little bit around. Let's see if it looks a bit better. I think it's about there, isn't it? Yep. So if I do that, then get that going there and wipe these bits off. And get that there. Okay, so. We can go over those lines like that. It's going to make it a bit smaller. Actually, I'm going to get on the right. Okay. So, I think this leg is a bit looking short. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to. Uh, stretch it a bit down about there make it a bit wider as well about there yeah does that look, yeah that looks about right now and then I can just take that little bit off okay so we could always color this in now I'm gonna make it as a reference layer new layer and see if I can fill it in with the red I'm just picking the colors up and just basically putting them in. Uh, I don't actually know what the colors are, so I'm just just coloring any color. I'm just going to do a yellow on the belt. black shoes now I think I'm gonna go with the grayish okay. Yeah. okay and then let's see if we can get like a silvery color for the knife and let's get the handle of like a brownish color yeah that's fine and the gun again we we'll do that as silver color yeah that's fine and the bottom bit there okay and let's give those rings a darker color yeah something like that coloring is basically easier because if you make it bigger at least you can get the if you want to get in where you want oopsie wrong color In the wrong color all right that's the one okay too much let's get it in there and then move the pencil down like that okay so the red color that we need let me just put that in there as well okay and uh, shall we get a pinkish color for the eye size in here no that doesn't look right does it okay uh, yellowy brownish okay let's go for that uh, 
and make the eyes black. I don't know, I'm just doing this as we're going along, so I don't know if it's looking right or not. So, okay, let's do that bit, that eye there. Okay, so what I want to do now is on this layer, I'm going to make another layer on top of that and do a clipping mask. Right, for the texture, what I'm going to do is get the same red color and then see if I can go a bit darker and then find some patterns or some kind of uh, textures in the brushes. Uh, all these brushes you can download these from like uh, Procreate free brushes and all that kind of stuff. All you have to do is import them into um, Procreate and then you've got all the colors and everything what you're looking for. I'm just going to see if I can find anything that gives me like a texture. The one I'm looking for like a zigzag. There's one. Let's try that. Right, that looks a bit too big. Okay, go down. Go back out. Let's get these here. Let's see if we get no, that's a bit too much, isn't it? Okay, undo that. Get that red color and go a bit darker, and then make them about there. Yep, yeah. yep, yeah, that's better. So it looks like you know those textured cloths. Hang on, I have got this. No, I haven't, have I? A clipping mask, and that's what I wanted. There, and then go down there. Something like that. Uh, I think it's not looking the way I want it, but let's do that like that. It's going to be a bit darker on the back there, so down here as well. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I can always wipe out these bits here with the eyes up. Looks like I made a mess. Okay, something like that. And then I'm going to go with a like a blur. On there, so we can see that's a bit too much. But about there, I think. No, that's still too much. About there, okay. So, what we're going to do now is I'm going to use like a shade pencil and I'm gonna make it light so when I'm going over it like that so it's just not wiping too much of it okay so what I'm going to do now is, I think I'm going to make that uh, another layer on top of that and then what I'm going to do is get some white. What pencil have I got? I think I didn't pick the right texture that I wanted. So never mind, but you can always, you know, change to what you want. And let's go there and I'm going to put a little bit of white there. Some here, like that and then get the smudge tool and smudge that in a bit and the eyes, I'm not happy with the eyes actually, they don't look right let's get the black and a pencil clean skits fine I think I'm going to make them a bit more like up there
something like that I think would be doing okay okay so I'm just gonna get that back in there so I think I'll just wipe some bits out and I'm gonna see if I can put a little dot in there like actually I can put the dot in the middle I think I think where I'm going wrong is this the eyes they don't look right actually so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna merge these all down hang on let me get this one first down to the other one merge down merge down and merge down that one can be deleted all right okay so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna see if I can get these eyes to go up a bit now if I do that go on that and then move the eyes where I think they are look right. Or should I make it a little bit different shaped? I think somewhere around there let's see if that looks any different and I'm just gonna get the smudge tool just to smudge that bit in and I might just put a little bit of the white just here just to show there's a face there and smudge that in so just to see that it's just there underneath And get the white. I um, mean the black, white. Okay, anyhow. And I'm gonna just cut that bit there. Okay, so I'm gonna try to get a brown color and see if I can fill that in. Okay, and then get the black color and get the pencil really small and then try to get the details in Oopsie, that was a bit too much. And I think I need a solid color for this. No, that's not going to work. That might just do it. Okay, just want to get this seat out. Something like that. Okay. Should make that middle bit the yellows as well. I think yeah, I'm going to. And let's color that bit in in the middle. Okay. Get this a little bit bigger. About there, yeah. Let's see if you could get that in there. There. okay so that's one layer let me take the reference layer off i think i'm going to duplicate that right what i'm going to do with this one is now select all the layer from outside automatic there and fill it in with the uh, hang on do i invert it yeah invert and then i'm going to fill it in with black Actually, I'll brush it in actually and get the bigger brush and I'm just gonna do that in there so 
Let me just get a bigger brush. Well, basically what I'm going to do is use this as the shadow. So I'm just going to put this one on top now. All right, and that one, and I'm going to select that. And I'm going to do it this way and move that shadow down like that. Just to show you there and move these up a bit. So hang on, let's see how that looks. Yep, that's fine. Okay. Oopsie. Get that in there like that. That little bit there. Okay. So if, Well, we're getting there slowly, slowly, so Let's see if we can just put that in there. That one. Right, so if we just get rid of that one and then we select these both together and merge it down, merge down. And then we can select this and freeform and we can put that there and there. And there we go. So we've a little bit more bigger than that. Okay, so we want to put it about there, yeah. So there you go. So that's another one done. Just want to get this about there, yeah. So it looks like there's something there, but actually tell and uh, shall I just get the bit of more white in there uh, bit white there like that that's to show that light shining from that side and I think a little bit on that hand should do it as well and the shoe And let's get something on the knife as well, I think. Something like that, yep. And let's smudge that bit in. And get some here. I don't know if I'm overdoing it now. And let's get the rubber a little bit there. And there we go. Okay, so can we use a bit of right there? We can use the darker color on this side. Just to show us a shade and something like that. Okay, I think that's enough. I might just carry on with this and make it maybe better or worse I don't know yet so got a little line there let me just get that out of the way there yeah so that's a little cartoon figure we've done so getting better slowly slowly finding some bits we know we to do what now on some of the bits and it's a bit too much on that one isn't it Okay, which layer am I on? Yeah, that's the middle layer. And I just want to smudge that bit in there. I think what I'm going to do is get that red. Yeah, let's get some of the red back in there. And smudge it in. And I think I've got some bits there like that. The thing what's good with Procare is, you know, you can always go back to it and keep doing it. So that's another one done so we'll do another one tomorrow or the day after let's see what happens with that if we're getting better 